I'm going to show you how we integrated Microsoft Teams with SharePoint to deliver a highly efficient business workflow process uh, for one of our customers, an investment company. Now, this investment company is continuously um, evaluating various um, companies who are looking for investment and essentially deciding whether or not to invest in them. And when they're doing this, they go through several stages, eight stages in fact, where they're collecting information and doing their due diligence and deciding whether or not to invest. Um, and as you might imagine, uh, as part of that process, they're collecting and creating lots of information and they're li liaising with third parties and so on. Now, they wanted to do that with Microsoft Teams, but they were concerned that uh, it may become a bit chaotic, that in different teams, people will be doing things in different ways with different documents and different templates. And that also that information created or generated as part of um, some um, analysis of opportunities would be lost in the team for that opportunity. And it wouldn't be visible to other people in the business who were evaluating other investment opportunities. So we integrated uh, SharePoint with Teams and this is what we have here. So this is the pipeline of opportunities. I can t type in here a search for a particular company name, let's say, I'll put in Acme here, and I can click on Acme to see all of the associated information with that particular company and the investment opportunity. But if I was coming here for the first time with a new opportunity to add, this is what I would do. I would click on Add an Opportunity here, and I'll be presented with a form that I need to complete, um, providing all sorts of information about the opportunity. Now I've completed the form, I'm just going to click here, Add to Pipeline. Now that's been created in SharePoint, so I've got a, a new um, opportunity in that pipeline, and I'm going to click here to go to see that Opportunities page. Now initially, um, I've captured some information here and created this as a pipeline opportunity. Uh, nothing's happened in Teams yet. Uh, no team has been created, um, we're really just collecting some initial information. We don't need a team yet to go further in the process. However, when we're ready and we've decided, yes, we're going to take this lead to the next stage, stage number one, because we're at stage zero at the moment, then what we need to do here is click on proceed to next stage. Now, in the background, that's actually created now a Microsoft team and we can now go into teams to see the um, team that's been created and the various information that's been put into that team the templates and so on ready for us to populate so here is the team that I just created via the pipeline um, CF test 005 at the end now if I press into there we've got Currently, two channels. We've got a general channel, which is empty, um, but we've also got a summary channel, number one, summary. Now, that co corresponds to the current step in the process that this opportunity is at, but it's pre-populated the files area with the templates that need to be completed for this stage, in the summary stage. If I go back to the SharePoint site, um, Let's pretend I've collected all the necessary information here and I'm ready to proceed to the next stage, stage number two. I'll click on proceed to next stage. Now, as part of the proceeding to the next stage um, process, the system checks to see if I've actually completed those templates that were in the summary stage. And it's telling me here that actually I've not completed them. It's detected that the file is basically still empty. I haven't modified them. I haven't updated them. And it's warning me you know, that I haven't done that. And that you know, if I'm going to proceed to the next stage, I'm basically confirming that I understand that I haven't completed this stage correctly. Uh, and I've got a sound reason for proceeding. So we see now we've gone to stage two. Um, and that tab has appeared. We've got some extra information we can capture at this stage. And on the right, uh, we see that the documents area is slowly growing here. This is actually showing me documents from Teams. And there's a new folder here called To Review that's showing from the team. Now, if I go back to the pipeline page, obviously the opportunity that I just added is now going to be in this pipeline. Um, but it's worth noting here that 
there may be many opportunities being evaluated at any one stage and it's possible to uh, filter through those based on you know the status whether it's active declined or mon being monitored um, what stage of the process are they at and so on so this is an actual sort of searchable index of those uh, opportunities um, and because this data is stored in SharePoint that is available for further reporting for example using Power BI